with me, we can exit just through the door over to my left, up the stairs, or through the back of the Mathematica exhibit. Now, one last thing is that during the show, we need to make sure that all of these red carpets are clear, including the staircase. So please make sure you're not sitting on any of those areas. Now, we'll get started with the show. So, I know you all came here today to see what these machines behind me can do. And we will. But here at the Museum of Science, we want all of our visitors to think Let's and act like scientists. So one of the most important things that scientists can do is ask questions. So during today's show, we're going to be asking three main questions. One, what is electricity? Two, how can I keep myself safe from electricity? And three, what on earth would happen if Hannah turned on all the machines in the theater of electricity? all at once. Another very important thing that scientists do is test their questions. So we will. Now all of the machines that you're seeing or hearing in the theater of electricity have been created by scientists. One of the most unique pieces of equipment that we have here are these two huge columns right behind me. This is in fact the world's largest Van de Graaff generator. It was created by Dr. Van de Graaff himself in 1932. And he used this machine to study the structure of atoms. That research ultimately led to the discovery of subatomic components. But when all that research was done, it was given to us so we could do some really important stuff, like make indoor lighting. So rather than keeping you all in suspense, how about I show you what this machine can do? Now, when you see me hold up and put on these bright red headphones, that means that something bright and loud is about to happen, so I suggest you cover your ears as well. Oh boy.
hands down. Now, who would believe me if I told you that electricity is actually both invisible and silent? Well, it is. That's because what we're experiencing are the effects of the electric force. It's kind of like gravity. We can experience the effects of gravity because none of us are floating around here in this theater. But we don't see a big hand pulling us down in our seat. So the effects of the electric force that we're experiencing here are light and sound. And we can further investigate these effects by looking at a machine called a Tesla coil. And in this machine, charges are being forced out of the top of the Tesla coil and into the air. And they're heating up the air so much that it actually glows, which is what we see as light or lightning. And that sound, or what we might think of as thunder, is because there are 120 sparks coming out of the top of that Tesla coil every second. And those sparks are heating up the air so much that it's expanding, which pushes on the air next to that, which pushes on the air next to that, and so on and so on, until it reaches our eardrums and we hear it as a sound. But because 120 times per second is far too fast for us to hear the individual sparks, we just hear it as a consistent hum. Now, these small Tesla coils, they have a voltage of 70,000 volts. This large Tesla coil to my left has a voltage of 700,000 volts. Small Tesla coil, small spark. Big Tesla coil, big spark. I suggest you cover your ears for this one. Shout it out. It's inside. 
Mm, okay, so I hear a couple of things. I hear some people saying the tires, but some people saying the metal. Now, like any good scientist, I think that it's best that we test out both of these ideas. Luckily, I do have a tire here with me today. So if it's truly the tire that is what's keeping us safe from the lightning, then when I strike this tire with the lightning from our Van Gogh generator, then you won't see any of that lightning exit the bottom of the tire. So I'm going to turn on the Van Gogh generator and cover my ears. Try to keep a close look at the bottom of the tire and see what we can see. Thank you. 